Live at 6, this is 13 News Now. The rain is still coming down, and for the third time this month, we're watching a chance of snow in Hampton Road. All right, as the temperatures continue to drop, this mess continues to move in, all of that green right there. But it won't be anything like these last two snowstorms, right, Evan? That's right, we're not looking at nearly as much, and this snow is following a pretty warm yesterday, pretty wet day yesterday and today as well. So take a look at the cloudy skies. It's been sort of a raw day today. Temperatures in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees. We've got that wind out there that's been gusting over 20 miles per hour. And temperatures later tonight like, likely not dropping below freezing. So that's one uh, another reason that we're looking at. We're probably not going to see much in the way of accumulation tomorrow. Maybe some minor accumulation on tops of cars, elevated surfaces. Throughout the day today, we've just had that rain, mainly light rain most of the time, although there are some pockets of some more moderate rain moving through parts of Surrey County, Sussex County, and up across areas of the peninsula around Williamsburg and James City County. The next system is still out towards our west, bringing snow showers through parts of Ohio and Kentucky even into North Tennessee. That's the system that'll swing through here tomorrow. But for tonight, still looking at the cloudy skies, mist and drizzle around for the next several hours, and that'll taper off to just some very uh, light rain and mist after midnight or so. Notice temperatures even by 1 a.m. in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees in many spots, so temperatures not dropping below freezing. So light rain and drizzle continue tonight. Tomorrow we're looking at snow showers mainly from the morning from around 9 o'clock to about 2 o'clock into the afternoon. Little accumulation expected, mainly on tops of cars and those elevated surfaces. We'll take a look at some of those snowfall accumulations, time everything out. We'll have the rest of the forecast coming up in a few minutes. Evan, thank you. It's a case that captivated Hampton Roads. Today, the former cop who killed an unarmed teen in Portsmouth was denied bond. Stephen Rankin shot 18-year-old William Chapman outside a Walmart back in 2015. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton was inside the courtroom today. She joins us now with a look at what's next. Rankin will finish his two and a half year sentence in November, but today his attorney fought to get him out on bond as he appeals two issues involving his trial. He should be subject to the time that the jury said he needed to serve. In an orange jumpsuit, ex-Portsmouth police officer Stephen Rankin walked in the courtroom. After spending 15 and a half months behind bars, he's ready to get out. The judge denied his bond request. Knowing what, what we're dealing with, it's an uphill battle, so I'm not not surprised. Rankin is serving two and a half years in prison on a voluntary manslaughter conviction. He shot and killed 18 year old William Chapman after responding to Walmart for a shoplifting call in April of 2015. Chapman did not have a weapon. You go through so much when it comes down to somebody taking a loved one. Rankin's attorney Nicole Belote says the Court of Appeals granted a petition to look at two issues that happened during trial. Court's denial of the expert testimony um, as it relates to the use of force. And the second one was the juror misconduct. If the Court of Appeals determines the court made a mistake, Belote says a new trial would happen. That means a jury could find Rankin innocent or guilty again, only on the voluntary manslaughter charge. If found guilty for a second time, a judge would resentence him. And if he were to be, hypothetically speaking, convicted of voluntary again, he's looking at up to 10 years. Now, when Rankin gets out of prison, his attorney says he's ready to get back to school to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now. Shots ring out, sending students ducking for cover at a school bus stop. The gunman opened fire from an SUV, hitting a 15-year-old boy. Megan Shin is live at the scene of the crime here at Marshall Avenue in Newport News. And Megan, not only is this a school bus stop, this is near the Boys and Girls Club. Regina, that's right. Neighbors tell us that this blue building behind us is where the Boys and Girls Club meets sometimes. Now, we've been seeing a lot of police out here. As you can hear a little bit of the traffic honking, we've seen police step up their presence out here near this bus stop, especially after the 15-year-old boy was shot. Neighbors say the bus stop on Marshall Avenue is loud with morning conversation. They wake me up all the time all in the morning screaming and yelling. But this morning was different. This morning it was surprising when it was quiet. At 645 the noise was not from the five talking students. And I just heard pop 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 pop. It was gunshots. Newport News police say a 15 year old boy was shot in the leg by someone in a red SUV. Juanita Jackson says her grandson saw it happen. 
Boom, he just ran home and said somebody was shooting out there. But then he was like, my friend out here got shot. Now extra police and counselors are at Heritage High School where the 15 year old is a student. You guys need to have some more patrol out here because that one police car that sit right there isn't enough, obviously. In a statement to 13 News Now, Newport News public school officials said we are going to support the student that was injured and the other students at the bus stop. Emergency crews took the boy to the hospital where he's recovering. Parents in the community say they're going to change how they watch their kids. Yeah, I'm going to watch them get on the bus because this bus come right here basically where the other bus stop was at. So. Everything has to be supervised. You, your friends got to be supervised, go to the store. Y'all got to supervise your kids going to school now. And the closest level two trauma center to here is Riverside Regional Medical Center. And they told us that they've seen 18 gunshot patients from the peninsula just since the beginning of this year. So far, police have not made an arrest in this shooting case. So they ask you to please call them if you have any information at their crime line, which is 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. Live in Newport News, I'm Megan Shin, 13 News Now. Right now, a Virginia Beach man is warning others after his car was stolen right from his driveway. After a series of car break-ins in his Chicks Beach neighborhood, his car was swiped, but in an unusual way. Aaron LeBeau tells us why he believes this is part of a larger crime spree. The trash, people in the back seat, you know, it was, it, they were, they were, it smelled like pot in there. And the That's the condition Murray Ashman's car was found in. It was stolen last week in his Chicks Beach neighborhood off Lake Drive in Virginia Beach. After filing a report with police. He took a report very quickly and was very professional, professional, put it out there as uh, be on the lookout. He warned his neighbors on Facebook and a community forum called Next Door. People were sharing the post and and uh, all the communication, it enabled me to hook up with like 28 neighbors, uh, neighboring communities along the Shore Drive corridor. Then he realized he wasn't the only one. They were rifling three cars up and down the street until they found one. The way that Murray says the thief was even able to take his car for a joyride, well, he looked in the glove compartment, took out the owner's manual, and used a spare key that was in there. A Murray's car was found within a few hours in Hampton. But after speaking with police, he says he believes his car was part of a larger crime spree. People think they're safe because they don't have an expensive car or whatever. That's not the case. They look for cars that are nondescript so they can go into neighborhoods, commit crimes, and, and be unnoticed. We checked in with Virginia Beach police, and they say criminals have been known to steal cars to commit other crimes. In Virginia Beach, I'm Erin E. LeBeau, 13 News Now.